Building codes have numerous paths to compliance. This means that there is no way to answer the question, what R value does my wall or roof need to have? What R value your wall or roof needs to have depends on what climate zone you're in, what materials you're choosing, what window to wall ratio you're using, what quality of windows you have, even what kind of detailing you use to attach balconies and floor slabs into your walls. So to understand, there are three in most building codes that are used in Canada. The National Energy Code for Buildings and ASHRAE 90.1 have the same three compliance paths, although they have slight variations within the code. The first one, the simplest one, is the prescriptive approach. You need to pick a specific R value for your walls and your windows, and you're limited to your window area and you need to meet all of the code minimums for HVAC and air supply and so on. The second approach, the detailed trade-off method and the simple trade-off method, allow you to switch different components for walls and windows with a different performance to come up with a combination that best meets the project while still complying with code. The final approach is the full energy modeling approach where one does an hourly energy model of an entire year for a code compliant building and shows that the proposed building with its various changes in mechanical, lighting, enclosure, systems will actually perform at least as well as the code. So understanding those three compliance mechanisms lets the designer have the most flexibility, the most choices in making building designs.